In today's video, I'm going to show you what I would believe to be the best route combination in trips tight end. Something that you can really utilize no matter what the situation is, no matter what the down and distance is. This is something that you can always count on that is going to get you consistent positive yardage. So if you're new to the channel, I want to go ahead and ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. I also want to let you know that if you are uh, new to the channel and you want to learn a little bit more about the trips tight end that I'm running in this video, we are talking today about the trips tight end formation out of the New England Patriots offensive playbook. If you want to get my full ebook on that, you can get all of my ebooks um, at my Patreon. You can join the Patreon for just $10 a month. There'll be a link in the description below where you can click on uh, to go check that out if you want to. Again, the membership comes with 14 offensive and defensive ebooks. Trips tight end just happens to be one of the 14 uh, ebooks that we have. So if you want to go check that out, again, I'm going to put a link to that in the description of the video. Now you can actually go ahead and pretty much do this out of any uh, concept or any any route combo uh, in this formation. I like to do it personally out of PA counter go, but you could do this out of anything um, because again, it's, it's purely a hot route uh, setup. I like to have tight end apprentice or hot route master when I run trips tight end, but if you don't have that, you can also do that out of this patch Y in play to create that tight end post route and then everything else you can create just you know with having um, a good hot route master. So what we're going to do here is just kind of run this against some random plays. Like I said, this works against anything and it actually works best in my opinion the left hash, but you could do this on on really either side. And the setup is real simple. We're just going to put the left of screen outside slot there on a flat. We're going to put the outside receiver on an in route. We're going to put the inside slot on a slant. We're going to put the tight end on a post. Now, you have two options here. You can either put the running back on a route, or if you think that they're uh, maybe blitzing you, you can leave this play action animation. So I'm gonna give you two kind of, it's not gonna change a whole lot about your progressions. It's just gonna give you an additional route that you can kind of threaten and hold zones with on the right side of the field. So your first read really is the slant post. Um, the slant post concept is one of the best concepts in the game. Basically, if the zones drift back to the post, then you're gonna throw the slant. And then if the zones come up, then you're going to throw the post. Like right here, they come up. I just wait on this, throw this on the sideline. I'm going to cut undercut or click on in that. If you have deep out elite, typically you're going to be able to complete this. And I'll show it again. Against man coverage, it's a real good route right here. You see that? See, I just completely toast the man-to-man -man concept there. So again, real simple. Literally, it's just a two-man concept. But the cool part about this is let's say that their user kind of runs with them. Oftentimes, you get a... a you know, heavy blitz or something, you can always hit this uh, slant. The beauty of this in route, kind of this backside dig flat little concept there on the left, this is a great play because you're going to still force them to have underneath, underneath middle uh, coverage on both sides of the defense. They're going to have to have middle left and middle underneath covered. If they don't, then you can easily work that in route. If they do cover that underneath really well, then like I said, your tight end post, you can throw this really at several different points. You can throw it here, you can throw it here, or you can wait and throw it on the sideline just like that as you can see. So the beauty of this is you've got all these routes that kind of run themselves into different pieces um, of this defense. And you'll see right here, here's your uh, dig route. Again, you can always low ball that. I want to really emphasize that. If you get in a situation where it looks a little testy and you want to throw that against man, Go ahead and low ball that and pass lead that inside. So you see right here, here's man coverage actually got me a little bit, but see that low ball can still kind of fit in there. Again, the way the game is made this year, um, it's just low balls for whatever reason, they just kind of get into some weird positions. But like right here, great example. That yellow kind of flows with the slant, and then you have that underneath route wide open. Now this little flat route right here, primarily utilized um, for something like this, but later on in the play, if we want to, dr if we drift over here, we can actually playmaker that flat route and actually do some damage with that. It's kind of a route bounce route that you can have just again as a late read. Obviously, if they're sending pressure, if they're just not covering the flats, like right there, for example, no flat coverage, we'll take the flat and we'll get about 15 to 20 yards by throwing a, a route that's literally like a yard or zero yards or maybe even negative one yard. Real, real simple. Um, you know, here, okay, man blitz. We got the slant. So, you know, based on really any coverage you want to call, you're going to have 
uh, some answers for uh, this route combo. Now, Pat Swayen, like I said, you could call this, and there's actually some validity. Now, what I when I call Pat Swayen, what I like to do with the running back here is to go ahead and put him on an out route or a ghost route, depending on what you have uh, in your arsenal. What you're going to notice with this running back route, now you get a flat route to the a threat over there, which is going to pull the zones and allow you to now be able to throw that slant. So if they're playing hard flats, now they also have to consider the fact that you can throw a slant and you can also throw a, uh, a little five yard in route as well. So you just get them at multiple levels here. If they're not playing hard flats, you want to try to throw that. Um, you certainly can. So there's just a lot of really valuable uh, pieces of this puzzle here. And then this little tight end route, it's actually a little shallower than a post. And I honestly kind of like it almost as much, if not even a little bit more. Um, it is a little bit longer developing. But what I like about this tight end, uh, this tight end in route is it doesn't run. You don't have that. You will never have an issue with like a third uh, playing this route. So you can just high point that over the middle. He's always going to get that animation. And then you're going to be able to kind of throw this underneath pretty much every deep zone in the game. So to me, there's a lot of value because sometimes with a with a post, it'll kind of run itself into coverage, whereas this dig route really doesn't. You know, I mean, it's it's, it's a little deeper than a just a standard 10 yard in route. But I think it's a little bit more effective. Now, again, you can still, like I said, you've got the Hot Route Master. Use that Ghost Route. Try that out a little bit. You'll notice that you can check down to the Ghost Route a lot uh, in this. You'll also notice that the Ghost Route, whenever you utilize the Ghost Route, it'll hold zones a little bit differently than you might have thought. Like in this example, you see how it holds that outside zone inside, and I can throw that slant on the sideline. And, again, continue just kind of, um, you know, just kind of attriculating the ball down the field. Real, real simple stuff, but I love this concept. This is honestly probably one of my favorite passing concepts because it truly has an answer for everything. We've got great pass protection built into the play with the play action animation. We've got great routes that can beat any kind of coverage that they're going to bring at you, whether it be man, zone, match, Mabel, um, zone drop, non-zone drop. It doesn't really matter. We're going to have success with this concept. So if you get really good at reading this, you really don't need anything else. And I would just encourage you to try it out. It's great in the red zone, but it's also really good no matter where you're at on the field. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about this offense, grab the Patreon. Again, everything's in the Patreon. For just $10 a month, you get everything. All the eBooks, all the updates, everything. I post in there typically one to two, maybe even three times a week. We release a guide pretty much every other week. We've got a couple new ones I'm working on right now. So if you want to get better at the game, like I said, Head on down to the description, click that link, and go check out that Patreon. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you guys next time.